Well, hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. I am at home alone right now. I haven't picked up the camera all day and it is 3.58. My family actually just left because I am working. I edited my Vlogmas Day 17 and I just uploaded it and I am knee deep in actual like real life work for the company that I work for. I am right now writing our policies and procedures manual. Don't be jealous, it's really exciting. Um, I have like a format that I'm going off of, so that is what I'm doing. So they actually left and went to Best Buy. My brother is gonna be setting up a wireless router for my parents. The one that they have is from like 10 years ago and their internet is always like really, really slow. So that's probably part of the reason why. And then they're also gonna go to Sprint. Um, that's the cell phone provider that my family uses. And my dad is gonna get, I think he's getting a new iPhone as well as an iPad maybe. I don't, I don't know what they're doing. Anyway, they're gonna be gone for a couple of hours so I can at least get some work in. I've actually been working for a few hours already today. So I wanna to try to get in like anywhere from like two to five hours of work in every single day because it's just so easy to do like uninterrupted work, especially like when I'm not in the office. I feel like I get so overwhelmed in my office that I don't get this kind of stuff done where I can just like zone out and just literally type and you know kind of do research and research the laws of what like the state of minnesota statutes are and stuff like that for like employment unemployment like all that kind of stuff because it's gonna be a good good manual so anyway i am about a quarter of the way through the manual but i have a whole bunch of other forms and stuff that i want to create as well while i'm on vacation if i can um if i can't that's okay i'm not gonna be working over 40 hours uh this vacation just because i don't want to so anyway i am going to check in with you guys in a little bit i think we're gonna go out to dinner maybe um they're gonna talk about it while they're doing their thing but i said i was open to whatever so we might go out to dinner or we might just eat something here but i will definitely be vlogging in a little while so yeah i hope you guys are enjoying the florida vlogmas which i'm in their like main area i don't know i'm in the i'm in the kitchen i set up my little set up my little office over here even though there's like actually an office here but i just set it up in here because why the heck not but anyway that is it for right now and i will check in with you guys when things get a little bit more interesting well, hello everybody, just wanted to check in. I am still sitting in the same spot and I am still working on the same crap. But anyway, I am sick and tired of writing about the HIPAA policy, policy? Wow, I'm s the HIPAA Privacy Act, wow. And then now I am on to the Workplace Policies and Guidelines the Equal Opportunity Employment Policy, which is very important, but my fingers hurt from typing. So yeah, I think I'm going to quit for a little bit. I just got a call from my brother. My parents and brother are on their way back. They're gonna stop at a place called Porky's in, I think it's in Deland. My parents live in Deland, Florida, by the way. Um, if you're like totally watching these out of order, which some of you maybe are, um, but they have really, a really good pulled pork. So I put in my order and hopefully they'll be here soon because I'm really, really hungry. Um, so I will show you a little bit of the food because that's delicious. And then tonight is a really, really fun, morbid conversation. We are going to talk about death. What? I know that's like crazy and I was kind of debating even talking about it, but you know what? Like I feel like it's really important and um, I may actually like ask the group to talk about it a little bit, but maybe not. I don't know. Depends on like how the group feels about it. But honestly, it's really important to talk about those things that when you make final decisions for people, um, I'm not talking about wills. Like a will is something that is totally different. Like I'm talking about what do you want? You know, what do you want your burial to be? Um, you know, if you want flowers, if you want to be cremated, if you want to be buried, um, do you want to be buried in a church? Do you want to be, or not buried in a church? Um, if you want to have your service in a church, uh, do you want to have a religious service? Is there someone specific you want to do your service for? Um, you know, do you, you know, what do you want? So uh, the four of us have all, well, not all very different religious backgrounds, 
but we're all a little bit different with our religious beliefs. So everybody kind of believes something a little bit different, which is, um, you know, great, but it's nice to know to like write it down. So we are just going to write down everybody's wishes and we're going to put that information, um, like in the safety deposit box. And then if for some reason in the next 365 days, someone passes, we can pull that out of the safety deposit box. And when we actually get asked those questions, which obviously, no matter if it's expected or not expected, it's always a very high stress time when a family member passes away. But you know what, we feel like if we're prepared, that making those little decisions won't be as stressful and we can concentrate on the mourning process versus like really numbing ourselves down and just having to make all these decisions and stuff like that. So, um, I mean, I know that's kind of like really morbid to talk about, but I feel like it's really important because um, I actually just had a family member, um, an aunt of mine recently just passed away extremely unexpected. She had a heart attack and died. Like she was a relatively healthy human being and got a toothache and then about two hours later ended up collapsing and they took her to the hospital. She was in the hospital for a while and in a, in a coma and then ended up passing away um, and she had had a heart attack. So, you know, I don't know the details on what things that she might've had already set up and stuff like that, but she's got three children. Um, she doesn't have a, or she didn't have a spouse. And um, obviously the children, like they're around my age, you know, they're still recovering from this. And you know, it's always such a sad thing to lose a, a parent anyways, regardless of um, health or age or whatever. But you know, it's like when she passed away, I was like, you know what, this is really important for us to do. And my core family, my mom, my dad, and my brother and I get together once a year, usually during Christmas. And this is just a nice time to talk about it. Um, it's not fun to talk about, but it's got to be done and we would rather talk to the individual to make those decisions um, Because it's sad to say but we are all going to die at some point So I would rather have my opinion be heard by my loved ones that are going to be making those decisions for me um, I am not married. My brother is also not married The nice thing is is if one of us does get married that those other people will be in on the conversation as well um, If that ever happens. So anyway, don't don't want to be a downer but that is what we we're gonna do tonight and oh the uh, garage is opening right now so I will show you the food in a little bit and we might actually talk about this on the vlog so I will see you in a minute so here's the dinner from Porky's I was telling you guys about so this is Brunswick stew pulled pork with a little bit of sweet barbecue and this is like a sweet potato is it like a casserole or what is it? a casserole sweet potato casserole. it's really really good so i'm having that and a water and that's tonight's dinner and those are my brother's ribs he's very excited about them he keeps trying to pawn them off on people it's not working out right phil yes project 2k16 new internet thingamajig what's this called a router is this I'm, a router i'm replacing an a wireless router that's about 10 years old. This was back from like, maybe- we're... About 2006 or 2007. <laughs> it's a long time ago. My parents' old house. Uh, my brother's replacing it. Because the internet is really, really janky here. And we're pretty suspect that we just needed a new one of these. The issue is this one can only talk to one device at a time, where this one can talk to- Several. Probably like 20 devices at the same time. Sweet. My video upload today actually went really fast, but I was all, I was the only one here using the internet at that time. So it was probably why it went fast. And my video upload today, which is yesterday for the people watching this, was only like six minutes maybe. It was really, really short. That might have something to do with it. It was the length of the video as well. This, this should make everything faster and yep. especially when there's multiple devices on at the same time. That's good. So we just went through and turned off everybody's Wi-Fi and devices. So wanted to make sure that we only had one device actually talking to the internet while we did this. So to be determined, we're going to fix it. Well, actually he's going to fix it. I'm just going to watch and I'll show you guys what's going on. P.S. We already had our little death talk. So that was exciting. Right, Phil? Was that exciting for you? Yeah, I learned a lot, actually. Things that you don't normally talk about. Right? We, we sat down and talked about. We did, we did. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. It's kind of, you know, trying to figure out what everyone's beliefs are, what they want done, what they don't want. Um, 
you know, and when one person brings up something, it's like, oh wait, I wanna add to my little page. So I'm actually gonna like type them all up and uh, we are going to put all that information in a safe spot as well as I'll email all the information to everybody too, just in case. And then we can just update it as we go. You know, like I was telling you guys earlier, just we can update it as we go. And um, when things change, we can just update it, which is really cool. So just, you know, less things to worry about in the event of uh, someone passing away, regardless if it's in a year, regardless if it's, you know, decades from now, we just don't know. So anyway, um, on a lighter note, we are going to get this party started. I'm about to unplug something that says four black siren, and I have no idea what it does. <laughs> This might shut the TV off. Okay. Because I need room for that. Ta -da! I think that's the security system oh, or something. It's like major cord, major cord management. Good times. All right, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Doing another wireless update. We're getting our instructions in Arabic. Like I can't even make sense of this. Look at this nonsense. It's all in Arabic and it's blank pages. Oh, it's a bunch of blank pages. <laughs> the lighting changes are so much fun, you guys. Look at all this lighting. Artificial lights. Let me find, I've got my ring light thing. Hold on. Ha ha, ooh, that's so much better. I look like a real person and not an Oompa Loompa anymore. So anyway, my brother is messing with the internet, trying to get it up and he'll get that up before he uh, goes to bed tonight. It's just trying to figure out the like Linksys instructions and stuff. But today was kind of a meh day. Um, went to church with my mom and then I really worked all day and then came back, or they came back and then had that takeout dinner that I showed you, showed you guys earlier. We had our big conversation about, you know, wishes and what people want for you know, later on in their non-life and that was good to kind of get that out of the way and I'm gonna type that up um, in the next couple of days here. So yeah, just just working on the internet. Actually, I was working on the internet literally, and now my brother's working on it figuratively. Like seriously. Oh, so anyway, it is really late, and I think I am gonna go to bed and call it a day. I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas here in Florida. Sorry today was kind of boring, um, but I am actually gonna go tomorrow and get pedicures with my mom and my aunt, so I'll definitely show you guys that. And then we're supposed to be going to this like really nice steakhouse um, in Port Orange tomorrow. So that'll be kind of fun as well. So anyway, hope you guys are having a good day and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.